Today on Ask a Coach, we are talking about self-belief. Really, that means just believing in yourself so much that you're not going to let anything else in the outside world get in your way. This is something that so many of you struggle with, so I know you're going to love this, so keep watching. Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome back. My name is Jen Stevens. I'm a spiritual life and business coach, and I'd love to welcome you to my YouTube channel today. This is where every single week I bring you a brand new uplifting video that is all about transforming your life by using the twin tools of mindset and manifestation. I am here as a resource to help you create an extraordinary life. And if that sounds like something that you want to be a part of, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So today in Ask a Coach, I'm doing another sort of generic kind of question because I see this so often in so many of the questions you guys send me. So anytime I see something that's like, hey, Jen, I really want to manifest some money, but there aren't any jobs in my field right now. I live in a small town etc, etc, etc. Or, hey Jen, I really want to find my amazing romantic partner, but I'm too old, everyone's married, the town I live in doesn't have any good men. Anytime I hear anyone say this stuff, it's like, okay, you really have to go back to the beginning and start to remember your power as a conscious creator. So the interesting thing is, is that I'm always talking about how we create our reality and that how your beliefs are reflected out in the world around you. So when someone has a question like this, I know it seems so real. I know it seems so legitimate to them, but uh, I can see from my outside perspective, none of these things actually have to be an excuse and that the person who is complaining about them is the one who is opting in to having that problem. So if you are the one having that problem though, I know how infuriating that sounds. I know you're going to be like, well, it's true. There aren't any jobs out there or there aren't any single men in my town or whatever the excuse is. So that is why I'm here. That is why manifestation coaches exist because I totally understand what it is like to be inside your own story so much that you cannot see out of it. You cannot see how you are also creating your own blocks. Right now, you might be in this position where you are single or looking for a job and you're thinking that there's a reason why it hasn't happened yet. But the thing is, if you are writing that down and sending that into me and repeating it to yourself, all day long, you are basically creating that story. So of course, your brain is incredible at filtering information. The reticular activating system is going to find patterns that you decide on. That is the key. You decide on them. It's not the outside world. It is you deciding on them. So it's like that thing when you buy a red car and suddenly you see red cars everywhere. There were red cars there the entire time. It's just now your brain is thinking about red cars, so it starts to see those cars in the world. When it comes to manifesting, if you are thinking there's no jobs out there, then that is what your brain is going to pick up on. All the evidence of how there aren't any jobs out there or how there aren't any good men out there or whatever the story is. It really is all in here. It really is all in your mind. And so many manifestation questions are like this. It's like everyone wants to be uniquely broken everyone is like, okay, but I can't do that. I can't really do that because my circumstance is different. I can't really have the money. I can't really have the man because I live here and I do this and I came from this background or whatever. So if this is you, if you've ever had a complaint like this, if this is you, then this is what you need to start to work on, okay? So my job here is to remind you of your incredible power as a conscious creator. That means somebody who is consciously creating their reality instead of just settling for what is in their sphere right now. So we all have the option to do this, right? We can start to consciously go after what we want in life or we can settle for the illusion that that is not possible and that we do not have that right now. By you complaining about these um, things that are happening in the world around you, you are basically opting in to the illusion of lack right now. Basically what's happening is you are allowing your current reality to dictate your future results, right? So you are saying that because I don't see anybody around me now, or I don't know what the job is going to be, that you are not even going to open your mind to the possibility that there is more out there. And that is exactly how people stay stuck and 
perpetuate a problem that will prevent them from manifesting. So do you see what I mean? You see that the problem exists, you dwell on the problem, and then that is all you see in the world and that prevents you from moving forward. The important thing to remember is that that is not an actual accurate reflection of your potential. You are a conscious creator and you get to decide on what you want and you get to go after it. But part of that is believing in yourself, believing in yourself and believing in your potential so much that it doesn't matter what the results are right now, that it doesn't matter that you don't really know what the job is going to be or who the guy is going to be. You are going to go all in on believing that you are going to get what you want. This is the self-belief concept idea. Choosing to dwell on those issues instead of on what you are capable of will trap you in this moment. It will make you feel like the world is working against you and that it'll create that victim story, that poor me story of like, well, manifestation might work for everyone else, but it's not going to work for me because of this. It can work for you, but you need to learn how to get out of your own way and remember that you are the one in charge. So I know this is really difficult to do because we are told that we can't believe in things until we see them in our reality. And that's the exact opposite way that you want to think as a manifester. Remember that you are the one that's creating the story. You are creating the world. And it takes a little while for that world to become reflected in your reality around you. But I guarantee you, if you're holding on to the excuses and the stories and the lack mentality, it is going to probably never manifest for you. It is up to you to start to remember again that you are powerful, that you are a creator and you are actually creating all the time. That's why I always say I'm not really a manifestation teacher because you are already manifesting. What I'm teaching you how to do is how to do it consciously. So when you are holding on to the story of lack, you are trapping yourself in that story. So anytime I see one of these questions, this is exactly what you need to do. Just come back and remember that you are the conscious creator. You are the one writing the story. So if this is you, if this is resonating, I want you to just, you know, every time you feel that excuse and that story and that negative loop coming up, I want you to start to ask, like, how can what I want be true? How is it possible that there's another job out here, even in my small town? How is it possible that I can make more money? How is it possible that I could find an amazing person to date? Can you see any evidence of maybe something new coming into the town, someone new coming in to date? Um, have you met anybody that has recently started to date a new amazing person? If you take those blinders off and stop committing to those stories, you will start to see that the things that you were so sure of before are not actually 100% true. And that's the thing. There's very little in this world that is 100% true all the time, which means you get to decide which side of the fence you want to be on. The side looking at the abundance or the side looking at the lack. Most of us have a real problem understanding just how powerful we are. We are waiting for the outside world to show us. We are waiting for the job or the money or the person to tell us that we're amazing. So I'm gonna need you to remember that it is up to you to start the story now, become the hero now, start standing up for yourself, reaffirming what you want, reaffirming who you want to be. When you can do that, no matter what is happening, that is when the magic happens, right? Because we're not waiting for the thing to come so then we can give ourselves permission to feel good. We are giving ourselves permission right now without the thing, without any evidence of the thing, and showing up as that person. And that is what creates that magnetism. I hope that this helped reframe your self-concept around manifestation. I hope that you are noticing maybe your stories of lack and scarcity and how you're getting in your own way. And I just really want you to remember that the next time you make up that story of, I can't have this because... That is the exact same thing that you need to work on. And that is really just a big sign that you have forgotten who you really are. You have forgotten your power and you just need to come back and watch this video over and over again so that you remember that, okay? So that is it for today's training. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna learn more about manifestation and my unique trauma-informed approach to manifestation, come on over and join me inside Recode Manifestation Academy. That is where I'm giving you all the tools you need to manifest your best life, including optimum health, manifest money, manifest love, all the things 
and it's all in there for just $22 a month. So please come over and hang out with me in there if you're interested in learning more. If you like this video today, please go ahead and give me a like. And other than that, I'll be back here in the next week's training. So until then, happy self-concept forming, happy manifesting, and I will see you soon.